cool wizard here, and as you can see, I have my Compact Versaria 5000 series. And, um, I finally put the other hard drive back in it, that Western Digital. Um, I'm not putting Windows 7 on it yet, but, um, we're going to put Windows XP SP3 Professional. I have the code right there. So we're going to go ahead and start the computer, eject the CD. So it won't start up from it at first, when it first boots the computer. Heck, this is where most of my crap's at when, like, a long time ago. Like, the Gateway 3200, it was right here. Okay, now I can put the CD back in because it's going to need to install. But, um, this is a complete set. It has all the restore discs. The original sticker on the keyboard. Stickers on the monitor. The only sticker it doesn't have is right here. Because I found this on the, uh, Junkyard for Stereo 5000. I'll throw it out its case soon. And, um, the original sticker on the side of the machine. But the only one it doesn't have is the one right here. Because this thing came with a zip drive. Customly installed by the owner, last owner. All right, so um, it's going to install. This video is not done yet, so um, when this gets installed, I'll take more. Oh yeah, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. We. Success so far. Okay, so it's removing the temporary files used, which is basically the installer. So, yeah, it's pretty much done installing. So, once it restarts, I'll go ahead and check my CD. It's taking a little longer than expected, isn't it? Well, you gotta remember, it's an old machine. <sighs> Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, 
Okay, it's taking a real, little too long. I don't want to use up all my phone space, so I'll tape more when it gets to the desktop. Okay, guys, so um, it is at the desktop. And it's running. It's a classic view. Um, Windows XP Service Pack 3. So, yeah, guys, guess that's about it for this episode, so stay tuned and subscribe for more. Bye.